Hello, I'm Billy Boyd. I'm here to talk about the White Island film, which um, you can see very soon all over Britain on the 21st of October at the View Cinemas. I would recommend going online, maybe to Facebook or Twitter, etc., and finding out about it. <clears throat> but before that, people have sent in some questions for me to answer from Twitter and Facebook, etc. So we'll do some of them. First one from Caitlin, who says, what, are, what aspects attracted you to your role in this film? Well, it started off with the script, as it often does, and the script I thought was brilliant. I just got an, an email. It's nothing important. Um, the script was great, but that took me to, to the, the book, uh, both written by Colin Butts, um, and I thought they were both brilliant. Great storytelling, great characters. I thought um, the character that I would be asked to play, Kyle, was um, really interesting. And I just really wanted to do it. So um, I don't want to do any spoilers and tell you too much about Kyle, but he's a really interesting character. Carmen ST, ST, I don't know what it stands for, sugary tea, maybe, which is, you know, good if you have a shock. What was the thing you loved best from Ibiza? I think the thing I liked best, um, because the only other time I've been to Ibiza was when I was sort of 18 and I went clubbing with a you know group of my friends and I, I've never been back. And it was how beautiful the, the, the island was that really shocked me. Um, you know, a lot of people I think go for the clubbing and but it's it's incredibly beautiful if you just go out and walk around the cliff tops and you know when I had some time off I just loved doing that and the people were really interesting you know there was a lot of people go there because you know maybe they're sick of kind of normal life and maybe they're into the music but they're making the music in in the summer but then in the winter all the clubs sort of close and but they're still there making music or doing art or whatever. It's just a really interesting, beautiful place, you know. Uh, H, just the letter H uh, from Twitter as well. H, full stop. What was your favourite breakfast place in Ibiza? Um, well, I ate mainly at, at the hotel I was staying at. had an amazing chef who um, was kind enough that a lot of the time I was doing like night shoots, so starting, you know, six o'clock in the evening and working through till sort of eight in the morning. And he would be kind enough to make something, you know, that was like dinner. So like fish and rice, and nice vegetables, you know, something had just been caught that day, you know, really beautiful food. And um, so breakfast was dinner in Ibiza. It's not always that way, but uh, it was for me for a lot of that time, so I'd say my bre favourite breakfast place was the hotel, because the chef was so great, and it was dinner. Um, what was your favourite scene to film in White Island? Well, there was a group of scenes, again, do I do a spoiler, but my character uh, owns some clubs in, in Ibiza, and has a, a yacht, beautiful kind of super big yacht, and uh, so we filmed on this yacht that was supposed to be mine. And to, you know, be sailing around Ibiza on this yacht, drinking champagne. Uh, those scenes were kind of fun. <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, how do you mentally get into character, says Samantha Henry. Well... There's lots of things. I mean, there's, you know, the things I always do, like you, you take the character. Um, I'm not looking over your shoulder here. I'm just looking at other questions. Skip a few and then I'll jump in again, maybe into Facebook, because those were all Twitter. But getting into character, I do the things like I write down what people say about the character. I, I write down what I say as the character to other people, facts about the character. But another thing I like to do is um, use music. Um, depending on, you know, the emotion of the scene. If it's a very emotional, I'll find a song that I like to play, or if it's a high energy, something that will help me get into that energetic state of mind. 
So music I, I find very important. Um, Jordana Taylor says, what's your favourite thing about Dom Monaghan? I have 812 favourite things about Dom Monaghan, which um, I'll be releasing as a paperback early next year. 812 things I like about Dom is the working title. So I can go through them all just now, you know. Maynith from Twitter again says, do you have a favourite rock band? I like the band Bee Cake that I play in. I would recommend getting their music as well. Get the World of Things. That was the, fin uh, the last album. Not the final. We'll make another one. But that was the last one. And I like the Beatles. I just watched the new documentary um, last night and it was brilliant. Uh, but the Beatles were amazing. Swift Dan says, grey hair. What's up with all the grey hair? Swift Dan, honestly. I don't... Oh, it's Swift Dam. I don't know. I don't know, it's eyesight as well as grey beard. There's a lot, it's on my chin. Nikki Greelaw says, I love the grey. She says, love the grey, Billy. Sadly, I have no questions, but I do love breakfast. Well, thanks, Nikki. Thanks very much. Breakfast is dinner in Ibiza, which is weird. Um, have you ever been to Ibiza before? Says Facebook, Michelle Clement. I have, I mentioned that. It was great. Um, I'll probably finish because that's like six minutes says my phone and that's probably long enough I don't want to like bore you guys what do you geek over says Lonnie Flett I was I was lucky enough to meet Prince once and that was I geeked over that that was my whole childhood music right there in front of me in his wonderful five foot frame that was incredible he's, he's such or he was such an amazing musician and songwriter. Um, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it with Julio Del Gadillo Jr. who says, did you scuba dive in Ibiza? And have you done it before? I have scuba dived and I do love it. Um, we mentioned Don Monaghan. We both got our licenses together. That was great fun. And I loved to scuba, but there wasn't any time. That'd have been great. We could have done it off the side of that yacht we were on. That'd have been a great idea. But anyway, please go and see the White Island film. Um, find it online, how you get tickets, etc. I'll be going to the premiere um, in London, I think on the 10th of October. And I think you can win tickets to that as well. So go online and uh, maybe I'll see you there. Thank you very much for the questions and uh, I hope you go to see the film and I hope you like it. Thank you.